Hi guys, this is Mrs. Alistar's Gaming and I play on the ARC servers under Magic Kitty and today I'm going to show you the easiest way to tame a T-Rex in ARC. And if you find this video helpful, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel for more ARC tutorials. So right now we have a T-Rex right near our base, so I'm going to tame that and I'm going to show you guys the easiest way to tame a T-Rex without the need to fight it or get yourself hurt in any way. Now before you tame a T-Rex you want to make sure that you have everything ready. There is all different types of meat that you can use in today's taming where you're going to use prime meat. But you can use all these different types of meat. Now these are in order of how effective they are. The first being exceptional kibble, raw mutton, raw prime meat, raw fish meat, cooked lamb chop and cooked prime meat. We are playing on a server where the taming happens a lot faster, it's an unofficial server. But if you're playing on an official server, this is how long the taming will take. It varies depending on what meat you use and obviously there is quite a difference. So the fastest one is the exceptional kibble and it also depends on what level dinosaur you're taming. If it's level 50 or under, that's going to take the least amount of time to tame and obviously level 150 is going to take the most. So that gives you an idea of what meat you need to get ready before you start taming. Now as well as meat you'll also need to get narcotics ready which you can put in the T-Rex's stomach with the food and that will keep the T-Rex unconscious over the time that you are taming and keep in mind that for a T-Rex you will need approximately 70 per hour. The other things you will need is a bow of some type and also stone arrows and narcotics that can be crafted into a trank arrow. Now the first thing we're going to do is craft a cage that we can trap the T-Rex into. Now you can make this out of um, any item that you want, any material. Um, I wouldn't recommend that just because it's a bit low level but I would recommend wood or anything above and wood was strong enough for us to tame the T-Rex here. Now I decided to make it 3x3 three three wide just to make sure that the T-Rex had enough space and would be trapped okay and the reason we want to trap this is so that when we are shooting the trank arrows at the t-rex we're not having to fight it off we're not in danger of uh, being attacked or being harmed by the t-rex so once you have all your foundations down we are also going to make some walls to put around it and we are also going to on one side have door frames. Now the reason we're going to have door frames is so that we can lure the T-Rex into the trap and easily run out ourselves without being harmed without the space being wide enough for the T-Rex to get out. So just place those door frames on one side. I would suggest putting them on the opposite side that you plan to draw the T-Rex in from. And then after you've put down your door frames, you just want to add walls to all the other sides. And I did make this too high, uh, two pillars high, just to make sure that there was um, enough space to hold the T-Rex in place. So once you've put your walls up you should have walls on each side and window frames on one side so you can run out and then the last thing we want to craft is some ramps and you want to attach these to the side that you're going to draw the T-Rex into and that is just so the T-Rex can run up and get stuck into the trap. So just put the ramps onto one side and make sure you do build them all the way down so that they are touching the ground as well. So once you have finished your trap, this is what it should look like. Now we can get to the fun part of luring the T-Rex into the trap. So what you want to do is go up to the T-Rex close enough that you get his attention and he starts following you, but not close enough that he can hurt you. Now if any point in time that you lose the T-Rex, you go too far in front of him, just go back and attract his attention again and get him following you again, but keeping your distance the whole time.
And once you get him close to the trap, just go up and stand on the ramp so that he follows you up the ramp and then you want to jump in and exit out those door frames that we made. Now once he's in the trap, this is when you can take your bow and your trank arrows out and you can stand back at a safe distance and start shooting him with the trank arrows. So because this T-Rex was such a high level, this took us about 50 Trank Arrows to get him down. Now once he is down, it's going to look like he is sleeping. Um, he will have some visible health damage and that is because we have been shooting him with arrows, but that's okay. So the next thing you want to do once he's down is access inventory and then put the food in there for taming as well as the narcotics. Now if at any point his uh, unconsciousness drops lower than the taming level, you need to make sure that you click on the narcotics and click consume. You do have to make sure he consumes it and that will bring his unconscious level back up. Now make sure that his unconscious level never goes to zero because if that happens he will wake up and you'll have to start the process all over again. Now once you've put the food in, do not worry if it still says zero percent. Every now and then the T-Rex will lift his head like that and eat and that's when the taming level will go up. Now when he puts his head back down and he is sleeping, the taming level will stay the same. So don't worry that it's not working or anything if it's still at 0%. Just be patient. Wait for him to lift his head and eat. Now each time he lifts his head and eats, this is when the taming levels will go up. Now once the taming level finally reaches 100%, your T-Rex is going to suddenly stand up and you will have a box pop up asking if you want to name your T-Rex. And this is when you now own the T-Rex and you can give him a name. Now once the T-Rex is yours, you can then go craft a saddle for him. And you can do that in the crafting screen. Now to equip the saddle, simply go up to the T-Rex and access the inventory. And then just drag the saddle over to his inventory where it says saddle. And once the saddle is on, you will have the option to then ride your T-Rex. Now the first thing I would suggest is taking him back to your base or somewhere safe just to let him heal up because he did have damage from the arrows that they shot, we shot at him. Um, so yeah, just let him heal up and then from there you can use your T-Rex to go and hunt or ride around. And don't forget to access his inventory when needed and level him up. So that is how you tame a T-Rex the easy way. Now if you liked this video and you managed to tame a T-Rex from watching this video, don't forget to let me know in the comments. And if you liked our tutorial, please smash that like button and subscribe for more ARC tutorials. And you can request ARC tutorials in the comments. Thanks for watching guys.